Yo, what's good fam? Agent O here. And today I have the Storm Collectibles Street of Rage 4 Axel Stone figure. I've actually been waiting quite a while to get my hands on this guy just because uh, this is my first Storm Collectibles figure. And before that, I really didn't have all that much interest in collecting Storm Collectibles toys, but I always thought they looked pretty decent and stuff aesthetically and everything, but I wasn't really that keen on on getting a hold of a figure for myself and but now I do because I've I've always liked Streets of Rage um it's one of my all-time favorite video games and it's cool to finally start getting the characters in action figure form so I kind of wanted to jump on this and see how well it turns out and uh, yeah this is the box I like how they have the character sprite um, on there as well you know as part of the detail but yeah I mean this is basically it nothing really to write home about I mean I'm not as you guys know I'm not that interested in the box I know others are I know others like to to look at that look at those details and stuff like that but um, I'm indifferent towards it it's all about the figure inside for me and speaking of that let us jump into this review And here we have Axel Stone, which, by the way, that sounds like a adult film name. I'm just saying. But anyway, back on topic. Um, I actually dig the fact that this figure kind of looks like it has like a matte finish look to it. Like it's not shiny or glossy. There's not a lot of paint apps. Everything's kind of cast in its own like base color. And I'm cool with that because it's supposed to look like an animation and like it stepped off of the um, the concept art or off of the video game. So I'm okay with the fact that that everything that the color palette is kind of muted and nothing's too overly chromatic on him. Um, I do like the details, like like on his uh, jean jacket. You can see the stitching and stuff and. A little bit of the folds and the sleeves and all that um, musculature looks really good um, I really it looks like they really captured the concept art pretty nicely especially in the head sculpt like I like how angular everything looks especially on his his uh, woodsman Chuck Norris beard beard it all uh, I think it I think it I think they captured it quite nicely I don't know why by there we go I'm trying to get some light in the eyes but yeah I, I also dig the hair the hair sculpting bandana and everything uh, everything's everything is kind of in this like most everything is in this soft plastic like I know from like I haven't watched too many storm collectible reviews uh, I think the only one I've really watched was Strident's review about uh, the special Street Fighter uh, M. Bison figure with the cross arm gimmick. Uh, that was like the only one I watched, so I had a little bit of an idea of what to expect when it came to getting these uh, Storm Collectibles figures, like the upper torso being um, being made out of a soft like vinyl or plastic or rubbery plastic is really bendable um, same thing with this jacket and his uh, flannel that he has tied around him it's all it's all flexible and uh, and kind of rubbery ish um, even the plastic it feels a little softer than than you would with some of the PVC plastic uh, that you get on most other figures um, I'll get to most of that in a little bit but uh, yeah, I mean, even the sculpting I like on his collar, like you can actually see like a like space, like negative space in there and stuff. That it's actually kind of cool. But yeah, I mean, overall, I dig the aesthetic. I think they captured everything that makes the character, the character's look. You know, the frayed ends on his jeans, his uh, you know, his high tops. Very old school looking, but you know, old school is new school now. It's all retro, so and it, and it fits. It fits the character. Um, yeah, I, I don't really have any complaints with his aesthetic. That's that's mainly what drew me to this figure in the first place uh, was how he looked. Um, but uh, you know, talking about the materials and you know what it, you know the kind of plastic that they used to make this guy. Um, 
also leads to leads me into the into the part of the review where I talk about the articulation because because he has that rubbery upper torso that you can like just press in it allows for his butterfly joints to turn in more but and this is like kind of like a double-edged sword because I like the fact that he has that range of motion I mean he can he can go back his shoulders can go back pretty far and it can come forward pretty far but this this upper torso gets really deformed looking and it just doesn't look good a lot of it is covered by this jacket but I worry about when they do the uh, Adam Hunter figure because he's not wearing a jacket he's got you know he's wearing a shirt and with suspenders and so if they use this same if they use this same method it's not gonna look as good I don't think um, especially when he's when you start moving the, the upper torso around and you start using the using the moving the shoulders it's gonna it's gonna look really weird and funky and deformed so hopefully they get a workaround with that or they just go with a harder plastic um, for when they do that figure but as far as like the head is concerned whoops split his wig um, you can't look up that far and you can't look down that far just because of the way the head is sculpted but because uh because his neck is on a, a double ball joint um, that's where you're gonna get the majority of your articulation and since the upper torso and the neck is all soft you can get a really deep bend looking down and he can look up really really nicely as well um, so it and, and he can go side to side pretty nicely you know he's got really good range of motion with that um, and the upper torso as well you can you can't the joints are tight so and that's fine I'm all for tight joints but you can't get some rotation um, you can't get good rotation out of the upper torso and the lower torso also rotates um, and like I've mentioned before about the butterfly joints um, I don't really think it's an actual butterfly joint because this arm I accidentally popped out of the socket and I think it's just a ball socket joint that just has a lot of range um, this this piece is actually just floating um, it's actually just floating in there uh, in between the ball in between the ball joint and the socket it's not actually part of the it's not actually a true butterfly it's just it's just a ball socket with a lot of range um, he has also has bicep swivel and I do like how the bicep swivel is hidden in the cuff of the sleeve I think that's a nice touch he has double jointed elbows but because of the sculpt um, you don't get you get a little bit more than a 90 degree bend it's not bad it's pretty it's okay um, it I, you can make do uh, his hands are on, are on a peg and a peg swivel or a swivel peg and so you know you can get you can get all the rotation you need and you can get up and down rotation so there's no problems there uh, he does have if you can move if I can move his flannel um, he does have he does have a um, thigh swivel it's like really up high and like nicely hidden because of the because of the uh, the flannel shirt but you can't see it in there and even if the flannel shirt wasn't there I still think it's I still think it's pretty nice where how they how they cut this um, and he can do a split it's just these joints are really really tight which is fine with me like I would rather have tight joints out of the box than loose joints um, out of the box because um, at least then I can get some play out of it if the before the joints start getting uh, loose but he can do a full split like even with the flannel shirt kind of getting in the way um, one thing I will say about the about using this softer plastic like see there's a there's the split so I mean he does do it um, one thing I will say about these using this softer rubbery or plastic I don't know how long that's gonna last like in long term like it like all this shit could break down at some point um, which 
which is gonna suck uh but uh i kind of wish i kind of wish storm would use a higher quality plastic because for as expensive as these figures are they should be using better plastic um because they can definitely they definitely can spare the money you know these figures being 80 90 dollars or whatever but anyway moving on with the articulation he has double knees and as you can see you can get a really good knee bend he does have articulation in the ankles um he he rotates at the at the uh at the hot top of his high top so that's hidden as well which is nice and you've got you've got ankle rockage he can't go forward as much can't really go forward at all because of the way the high tops are sculpted um so that's kind of too bad but it's you know it is what it is um he also has he also does have he also does have ankle rockage and and pivot so so for when you're trying to do those nicely perfect form executed sidekicks uh, and he also does have the toe point you know so as far as the uh articulation goes articulation is is fine like i don't know it's kind of a it's kind of a mixed bag for me with this uh figure and like i said this is my first storm collectibles figure so i i didn't kind of didn't really know as much of what i was expecting to get into but as much as I like the fact that this upper torso gives a lot of uh, range of motion than it would if it was uh, just hard plastic, I also don't like the fact that it deforms and and bunches up and stuff. Like, I mean, you can see when I when I press it together how that how the front of it pops up, and there's just nothing I can do about that. You know, I'll just have to, you know, when I take pictures and stuff, I just have to take pictures from the right angles so you don't see that as much. Um, yeah, and also, you know, like I said about the plastic, I wish they were using a better quality plastic. Even the hard plastic feels relatively kind of soft. And uh, I don't know. I, I just wish they would use a better, a better quality plastic for as much as we're paying for these figures. Um, paint, uh, uh, not paint wise, but... Uh, I guess one other one other things I wanted to nitpick about is you can change the hair on these figures like I guess you can with previous storm figures you can just pop it off but it doesn't stay on very well um, this does there's an extra piece that he comes with um, which is more like which is more like his hair's flowing in a direction so you can use it for like action action shots and stuff and I don't feel like it sets on his head as well as as well as the original piece does. And I know I'm not putting it on wrong because there's only one way to put it on. So I don't know. I don't think it looks as good, and I don't think it stays. You know, the it's rather shallow on the inside. That divot. It looks like it's deep. Because of the shadow it's casting but it's kind of it's kind of on the shallow side i kind of wish it was a little deeper and i think because this is a softer plastic and not a hard plastic it doesn't fit as nicely and it doesn't stay uh, it doesn't stay on the head like it should like this stays a lot better like i can feel it when it when it sets into the um onto the shape under the sculpted shape and and it and it doesn't come off as easy so i'll probably be you leaving this on this head this hair on this head um on his default face but since we're getting into accessories he also comes with two other heads both of them are sculpted really nicely he has his yelling face head you know for when he's executing his martial art moves and kicking butt and then he has his like grit and teeth head which also looks really good um like i said both of these heads these hair um sculpts are also um you can also switch them around and stuff um you can remove them as well but you know it's the exact same it's the exact same they're the, they're the exact same um two types of hair that that come with this figure oh uh, he also comes with four sets of hands I'll just show one for example this is his open hand and they all look pretty good 
um, no complaints. Uh, you know, they're all they're all what you would expect. This is kind of like his flexed, grabbing hands, or you know, maybe he's doing tiger fist. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, like the form you hold for tiger fist. And then he has his. Uh, these are kind of like semi-open um, posed hands. And these look, this looks pretty good too. I mean, they all look, all the hands look good. There's no, nothing wrong with these hands. And then, of course, he has his holding things hands for all the melee accessories that he came with. And he came with a lot of melee accessories. He comes with almost every melee accessory that's in Streets of Rage 4. I think minus the pipe and the uh and the street sign i can't think of anything else off head but he comes with both types of pipe um both types of uh glass wine bottles the full wine bottle and the broken wine bottle and these actually look pretty good i like these um you know i like the translucent plastic it this lower grade translucent plastic works well with this with these bottles um because it's you know it's not supposed to be a clear, you know, glass bottle. So that's cool. He comes with the butcher, uh, butcher knife. And this looks pretty good. Uh, my biggest complaint with these accessories is they're all made out of this plastic that's really soft and bendy. And so there are, they're deformed in the, um, right out of the package, uh, the biggest uh, culprit of all is the samurai sword that he comes with. Um, looks pretty good. Decent silver, uh, decent silver um, paint. Excuse me, paint apps. I'm not sure why my camera is not focusing on it. I really wish it would focus. I don't know why it's doing that. There we go. Okay, so yeah, decent. Decent uh, paint apps. It's okay. Nothing to write home about, really. But look at how look at how flimsy that looks. Look at how off. Uh, just look at how bended bended up it looks. It just this was right out of the package, and eat, no matter how many times I straighten it out, it still goes back to that form. And I don't I don't really feel like putting it in hot and cold water to try and fix it. I just wish Storm would use once again use a better quality of plastic. Especially for as much as we're paying for these, we deserve better quality of plastic. The side turned out a little better. It's, you know, just the tip is, uh, just the tip. It's, uh, it's a little bendy, but, you know, it's okay. Nothing to write home about it once again. And he also came with the boomerang. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's okay. Um. Once again, nothing to write home about. <laughs> and he came with a baseball bat. And I actually like the baseball bat. But it's also bend it. It's also bent, which kind of could work in your favor because if you're doing shots where he's swinging the bat, the slight bend could kind of give that effect that uh, he's swinging it really fast. And then if you add some like after after uh, effects motion blurs and stuff like that to it i also like the paint apps on this ba baseball bat um you can't really pick it up on my camera but they actually tried to get the wood grain finish on the bat and on the wood parts and and i actually dig that it's it looks pretty good um i think it's not it doesn't stand out too hard it's a little it's a little on the subtle side and i think it works pretty nicely um, he also comes with a Naginata. It comes in two parts. You have this, the staff part, which is also, you can see how crooked it is. Uh, they really need to use better plastic. Um, and you just put the two ends together and you have the whole thing. The blade look, the bladed part looks pretty good. Uh, with the gold trim on it and there's and it's no bleed or flecking or or slop on there and uh yeah i mean it, it looks nice it's just i wish it wasn't so freaking crooked 
This is where, once again, use better plastic. Uh, now he also comes with his signature flame effect pieces. He actually comes with three of these. These are actually pretty big, actually. Uh, bigger than I thought. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I dig the painting um, that they did on these. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. This is for like his really big, like circular uh, dragon punch move that he does uh, for crowd control. Um, this one I use as kind of like his grand upper uh, effect um, for the fist. And uh, I think you can put both, both neutral fist pieces in this. Um, it just slides in, which kind of blows. It's because it's not sculpted for the hand, for the for the fist. It just uh, there's just an opening, and it's just big enough for you to slip the fist in. And it does hold, but it can sometimes kind of fall out when you're when you're posing. But yeah, it it it, it, it serves its purpose. Um, and it, and it works the way with all three, uh, the other two effect pieces as well. Um, here's one where it's kind of spirally. I do like this one. I didn't know this came with the toy. I might have missed it in some of the production photos or whatever, advertisement photos. But I do like this. Um, and it's, you know, if, you're, if he's doing like a straight uppercut, dra whoops, dragon punch type move. And it just you just pop it in and yeah like so um all these all these effect pieces work so um this one though i think is more specific to the left hand just because of the direction the the way the direction that the of the flame is moving i don't think it works as well in the right um but yeah i can't even really get his hand in there all the way you can kind of see where it's supposed to fit in it can we if you finagle it you can get it all the way in i just for the sake of this review um yeah there you go but uh this one i had like the most trouble with when i was shooting photos though uh just because of how big and kind of uh clunky it is um but i do like this i do like the i mean the quality of plastic is okay um i've I've seen better translucent plastic pieces, but this works for the effect that they're trying to get with it. I think it's uh, it's all right, but it is definitely, I'm not gonna front, it's definitely a lower quality of uh, translucent plastic. Um, and then some people might think I'm nitpicking, but uh, some of the uh, some of the other, like, like I have a Masterminds Creation um, Transformer that has a sword that has really awesome trans it's a really awesome translucent plastic blade and uh i don't know this one just seems a little on the cheap side but it still looks good it's it's a it's a, it's it is lower quality but it does it does look pretty good so i don't know overall i i think this figure is a mixed bag for me um just with some of the things i pointed out that are kind of problematic for the toy uh but it it does have pretty good does have really good range of motion um overall i wish there was a little bit more uh bend in the foot going in going upward that's and you know once again the deformity in the chest with it being soft uh soft rubbery uh plastic vinyl or whatever is also an issue um but overall i think this is a pretty decent figure um i am hoping that storm does the other two characters blaze and adam hunter because i want the trio um and i'll deal with the shortcomings of these of what storm collectibles does production wise in order to get those figures um i just I'll, one other thing i wanted to point out i kind of wish because they had it and they didn't do it um you could have gotten you could have done classic uh classic axle just give us a head without the beard, keep the bandana, um, give us arms that are that don't have the sleeves on them, and just like the, the bare armed, and because he already is wearing a tank top, as you can see. So if you could have had us pull off the arms, switch them up with arms without the sleeves, without the cuffs, 
and then and then give us a way to take off the um, flannel, um, the flannel jacket, and you would have had classic, uh, classic Axel just right here with this figure, right, right on the spot. So, kind of weird that they didn't do that, um, especially with all the uh, accessories and stuff they gave us. They could have, they could have held off on some of those accessories, those melee weapons, and put those in with the other figures, um, in the line. So that you could give us like a classic axle, but it's whatever. Um, I do like I, this this new uh, design has grown on me, and and I'm I'm a, I'm cool with it. I like it, but it was kind of interesting. Like you already had you already had all the makings to do to do classic axle, and you kind of just didn't do it. But it's whatever. Um, maybe they're using it as an excuse to put out an, another axle figure. And without those, without those things, without the jacket, without the um, de denim and the flannel, so that they can use that as an excuse to sell another figure. But you won't be getting me like that. I'm sorry. Um, I'll stick with this, and I'll be waiting for the other two characters to be done as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's gonna do it for me. Um, if you like the review, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you uh, have any constructive criticism. Please leave that in the comments below or any any thoughts, um, any thoughts that you guys might have. I definitely want to hear what you guys got to say. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Hit me up on Facebook. I'm Agent Omega Man. Um, I'm on Instagram as Sir Agent O. And yeah, that's going to pretty much do it. Until the next review, I'm Agent O and I'm out. Peace.